MetaSleuth is a crypto tracking and investigation platform. It can help monitor market movements, track fund flow of criminal activities, and DYOR to avoid scams. In this tutorial, we will guide you through the basic functionalities of MetaSleuth by tracing the stolen funds in a phishing transaction. Together, we will explore how to use MetaSleuth to analyze transactions, track specific funds, and monitor untransferred funds. Choose Ethereum as the network, and enter the transaction you wish to analyze. Press Enter. Now, await the data returned by MetaSleuth. You will be directed to the MetaSleuth analysis page. The transaction we are focusing on involves only one asset transfer. Address 0xbcd131, which is the victim. Transferred 2586 Matic to fake underscore phishing 180627. Simply select the fake phishing address node and click the plus button. After clicking the plus button, we can see numerous outgoing Ether transfers from fake phishing address. But what about the Matic we want to track? Metasleuth provides various tools to help users locate the desired data and add it to the canvas. The token filter displays asset types for transfers retrieved by Metasleuth. The selection status of each token reflects transfer display status. Currently, the Matic token is partially selected, showing some transfers victim to phishing address in this case, while others are undisclosed. Let's fully select Matic to see what happens. After confirming, we can see an additional Matic transfer on the canvas. Originating from fake phishing address. And going to Uniswap B3, Matic. This is exactly the stolen funds we are tracking. So, what assets did fake phishing address receive through this swap? Let's investigate this swap transaction to find out. First we need to determine the transaction to which the Matic transfer from fake phishing address to Uniswap B3, Matic belongs. Click on the asset transfer edge on the canvas, and in the edge list that appears below, click on details to access the transaction list. Find the transaction hash for this transfer and copy it. Then, we can add this transaction to the canvas using the add address functionality. This will allow us to explore the asset transfers that took place within this transaction and gain a clearer understanding of its contents. After adding it, all the asset transfers within this transaction will be visible on the canvas. It becomes clear that fake phishing address swapped Matic for 0.944 Ether through Uniswap. This 0.944 Ether is the asset we need to track further. Among the various Ether transfers originating from fake phishing, which one should we track? The swapping transaction occurred at 1457 on June 18, 2023. By clicking on fake phishing address, you can observe the asset transfers associated with this address in the left-hand address panel. To filter the data, we can utilize the filter function. Within the filtered results, it is evident that approximately 6 minutes after the swap action, 1.4 Ether was transferred from the address fake phishing address to the address 0x8BAE70. This transfer likely contains the funds we are seeking to trace. Want to be informed for any other Uflow changes in the future? We can actively monitor them. By enabling monitoring, you will receive email notifications whenever relevant asset transfers occur. To explore additional monitoring features, please visit the Metasleuth Monitor dashboard. Although this was a brief exploration, we hope that Metasleuth has provided you with a convenient and smooth tracking and investigation experience. Stay tuned for our next tutorial. We will provide you with the advanced analysis for lightweight fund tracking of Metasleuth.